So this is a little special. Hey kitty. This is a little special video because we're doing two in one day. Yay! Ruby Volume 8 just released today. We just saw it. This is gonna be depressing. I mean, it's already been very depressing, but it's about to get a lot worse. Ironwood is no longer redeemable. No. Like, he's finally killed an innocent person. And by innocent, I mean someone who wasn't actively seeking the fall of someone. He killed someone only so that he can have more power. Also, spoilers. My bad. <laughs> We can put spoilers in the title so that... That's true. Um, we're going to get Cinder backstory, it looks like, this year. Yeah. So you didn't know that Cinder was based on Cinderella. I don't know who anyone's based on. But, yeah. I only know Nora because I have an obsession with Thor. Nora's great. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We don't know exactly who everyone's based on, although it has been hinted at. Mm -hmm. um, Cinderella, the one we do know, is based on Cinderella, and we even had the she ha she went to a ball and she had to finish her quest by midnight. Mm. And we it looks like it's going to be a division within the team because they're finally taking sides. It's it feels like it's Ruby and Nora. Penny by association versus everyone else. And even though they're all fighting for the same thing, they're going about it completely different ways. And it's going to cause a pretty big schism within the team. I think that schism was showing up last season. Oh, it definitely was. And I think was. we're going to get probably a breaking point within the next episode or two. But I think, the, I think they're going to come to an agreement this season. And they'll have cleared the air and that they will be, you know, all on the same team. Because, mm -hmm. um, um, Ozpin said that what she wanted was, what she wanted wasn't to divide people. She wanted to turn people against each other. Mm -hmm. So they've already vocalized what they don't want to happen. Plus, the next thing, it's Yang and Ruby on different sides, so that's not really going to last any amount of time. No, it won't. So it can't. I think that I think we are going to place a very big fight, but I don't think that it's going to last. I, th I think it's going to get resolved pretty quickly this season. Yeah. Um. Then with Cinder and Salem's dynamic, that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Because Cinder has, I don't know her name, but the green-haired girl. Emerald. Who, Emerald, who looks up to her. But Cinder, and Cinder kind of, at the beginning, relished that uh, um, loyalty. But now Cinder has someone else that she's looking up to. And so she's kind of distancing herself from Emerald. So the question becomes... Is Emerald going to turn against Cinder? Yes. Um, in Ruby Chibi, which isn't canon, but it has dropped some hints on it, Mercury actually at one point says that she's not really evil. She's more like evil curious. <laughs> <laughs> which was a throwaway joke, but I think it also probably has some basis on that. I think of the group of quote unquote villain. She is going to be the first one. She's gonna be the turncoat. Yeah. Her and Neo both. Yeah. Neo's only Neo, doing Neo's it <laughs> for one reason. Neo has Neo has a coat Neo has no code of ethics and only follows her own Yep. Those are interest. her interest. She only does what she deems is necessary for the time. She doesn't even like Cinder that much. No, she really doesn't. I mean, it's, she gives her quite a few faces of irrit irritation and disgust through the entire time they've been interacting. Yeah. She does not like Cinder or Salem. Question now is, when Oscar reveals that Ospin is back, how the group is going to take that? Not well. 
And what? Oscar, that's his name. I called him something else earlier. <laughs> I always forget his name. Yeah, Oscar's. I feel bad for Oscar. Like, he oh, doesn't yeah. like the guy that's living in his head and he can't do anything about it. Nope. He's stuck with him. Ozpin's curse sucks for both parties. Mm hmm. For Ozpin, because he has no bodily autonomy. And then for whoever he's the host of, because they will never be by themselves ever again. And they always have someone else in their head for all of it. For until they die. No, it's worse than that. They become what he, he takes over their... Oz takes over their mind slowly. Yeah. To where very little of them is left at all. Yeah, he literally erases them. Yeah. They don't even die. They're just erased. He's a... Pa it's like a really... He's a parasite. He's a parasite. And that's like... And that was what the good God gave them? Yeah. So that's the next thing. It's like... Yeah, the good god. The good god of creation created this parasite that would erase the existence of whoever he was with. Yeah, and they have no say in it. They can't exercise him. And oh, the, that's that's what that. May, I mean, we don't know that. Maybe maybe no one's tried yet. He wants to die. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's asked. I I just I th it's one of those curses in shows that I'm like that's a good curse but it sucks for everyone involved. <sighs> so Salem sees herself as commanding a chessboard. Mhm. Mm so that's going back to the chess motifs we've seen this entire time. Also that got super creepy because the relics that Oz picked out were chess pieces mm -hmm. way back in season one. Mm -hmm. And apparently Salem sees this entire thing as a giant chess game. Yeah, she doesn't, she, like, she has to legitimately get off the chessboard and see that the pieces are humans. Did y'all already watch it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, bye. Did you already watch it? No. Okay. That's why I'm leaving. Okay. And, and see, that's her entire character arc because that's what her thing is. She has to be immortal until she learns the value of life. Yeah. Which making someone immortal is the worst way to try to teach them about the value of life. True. <laughs> Literally, um, she has to become. She has to stop being a chess master and start being a person. And it's going to be interesting as to how they figure out how to do it. Your eyes are blown. Your cat wants to murder something. She's purring so loudly. Yeah. Hi, kitty. Yeah. We have a special guest today, though. Say hello. He's not going to say anything. <laughs> he wasn't paying attention. Say hello. Hello. What are your thoughts? <clears throat> Ironwood was unnecessary. You can take off the mask. Ironwood was unnecessary. Like the prior season, we were led to believe that like he feels this is like his duty. That's why, like, that was his saving grace. Like he he never really quite went over the edge in the last season. You know, like. Everything he did, it was for, where are they at? Atlas. Atlas. But he just killed that government official. And, like, yep. that's just the start of, like, just like... You can't really redeem him at this point. Like, nope. he like, had a head count. They had a kill count beforehand. And he had innocents that died underneath him. But it was always, you know, just sort of... Before he kind of had an excuse. Like, before he kind of... It was an excuse. Like, it wasn't as obvious before. But now it's like... Oh, it's like, it doesn't matter what his reasoning is now. He just... He's taken it to... That was too far. He killed a government official not for... They wasn't even armed. Because that's the next part of it. The guy wasn't even armed and they were in a hospital. Who was on his same level of authority. 
Yeah. He only did it simply to further his own agenda. That is it. That is all. And because he committed that act, he is irredeemable now. And it's going to be interesting to see how far he ends up falling. Yeah. He um, is a paragon who has switched over. Crow just dipped. Like, like, no, I Crow's think arrested. Crow's, I think Crow oh, and... Arrested. I think Crow and Robin are in jail. Are in jail. They're in jail. But did, do we see them actually get arrested? Because we, we yeah. saw the cops show up, but we didn't actually see them take them in. Yeah. They were arrested. Yeah. And they are together, because if you, cause they are together, because we saw in the intro that they're together behind bars. <sighs> that intro was actually really good. I'm gonna have to rewatch it a couple times to go and take it apart. <laughs> but yes, it is very, very good. Um, Ironwood might die. What? I, I can see Ironwood dying. Yeah. He has death flags to the galore, but the question is how and if it's gonna be disgraced. It's probably going to be one of those things where he takes it to the extreme and he's too, so extreme he's going to give his own life, but it's like drastic. Like, I'm going to blow up all of uh, Salem's army, but it's going to take half of the city with me. Yeah. And, and the other half will be saved, but... He is def definitely giving off fight to the finish no matter what vibes, and it is not good. Well, um, Oz is horrible at picking, um, Oz is horrible at picking people to do, people to help him. Mm-hmm. He is. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, all the other teachers are in MIA, except for, no, they're all gone. They're all gone. They're all gone. Where's Glenda? I don't know. She's she's interesting, and we also don't know where um, Ublek is. Like, what happened to all the teachers? I mean, and probably it'd be nice to know for sure, but probably they're just dealing with a grim infestation just in their local area. Oh yeah, they definitely are. It'd be dark if in the prior season Leonhard was giving. Salem information on the hunters. What if he gave her information on the teachers and they're dead? I mean, they might be dead. I mean, the other two I can see, but Glinda, but Glinda, I don't know. I don't see her going out like that, but. There's the whole theory that Glinda might be a maiden, too. Honestly, she's as powerful as one. She might That's be That's the reason. There's an entire theory that Glinda is a maiden. The only one left is the Summer Maiden. Yeah. How did she get the relic? Uh, Cinder took it. Well, Neo, Neo took it, and Cinder Neo took credit for it. dressed as that, what was it? Neo, Neo shapeshifted and got it. Oh. I remember it happening, but I don't yeah. remember exactly how she did it. I, I used to miss that. That was the season finale. Really? Yeah. It was in the season finale. There was a lot to happen in the season finale, though. Mm -hmm. I missed that. I think Weiss and Winter are gonna fight. Yes. Like they're 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 gonna have a standoff. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty hyped for that. I think White might have to kill Winter. I think it's gonna boil down to Winter is like I'm, th this is my job. Yeah. And there's no other choice. But Winter's a lot like Ironwood in the fact that she goes full force for what she believes in. She's a perfect in. soldier. She is. With no no wiggle room at all, including when it comes to family. Yeah. And the fact that Weiss is in the gray area and Winter is in the white area, it becomes a problem. Yeah. I don't know about Weiss having to kill Winter. I think Winter is going to take it to that level. 
like I think I Winter's just, gonna not gonna give Weiss a choice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Weiss is gonna do it because she wants to, but I think that we are heading towards that direction. Winter will take it to that level. Yeah. I don't see Weiss like doing it. I don't know. We haven't given Weiss real PTSD yet, so not yet. <laughs> Literally has... everyone else has it. Except her. Yeah. That'd be what it took to give Weiss PTSD. Having her kill her sister. Or watching her sister die. I think it'd be like an accident. Like a, a straight shot that Weiss does in anger. At least we have established at the beginning that they're not kidding with this volume. Okay. There are no holds back. Things, the shit has hit the fan and it stinks. I know that the fandom kind of just is mad at the past like three seasons but last season as far as like cohesive storyline working was really good mm -hmm. it had a definite story i feel like the i feel like there are, there was you know two really really bad seasons near the middle mm -hmm. but like the past the past couple have actually had a cohesive story. Storyline. It's just a, I don't agree with the storyline, but it's a cohesive storyline. It works. Yeah. The two seasons that you're talking about, they were a transition period. Yeah. We were going from just completely action heavy to actually having a cohesive story with real stakes in it. And it took a minute for them to get there. But now that they're there, things make sense now. But yeah. it only makes sense if you take into context when it started making sense. The yeah. beginning, not so much. Now, it makes sense. They found their rhythm. Yeah, they found their rhythm. And I think it's going to be, I think that the seasons are only going to be improving from this point on. Mm hmm. Or, you know, two seasons ago, but whatever. Yeah. We can't keep saying what Ruby could have been because, let's be honest, it's eight seasons in. It That's it. Yeah. It's going to be a total of 10 seasons. They've already confirmed that. Volume 9 is already done. They're just finishing stages and then pick a release date. And so, yeah. yeah. Which means that they're going to be working a very, very hard on Volume 10. Yeah. It's probably going to be the best season. Yeah. And probably going to hurt the worst. No, well, I mean, we're probably going to kill everybody off. Mm -mm. We're going to kill everybody off. Her mom. Her Yang's gonna be a maiden. I mean, look at this picture. She's literally on fire. Yeah, the picture promo that she has, she's on fire. And I know What's we all made. Huh? What's the next maiden? Summer. Yeah. Summer? And uh, Raven is what? Spring? Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Also. Did you see in the intro when they were like doing the seasons and everything, Yang had spring as her season? I saw that. So, and it was like, Yang is gonna take summer. No, wait, wait. I don't think Yang is gonna kill her mom. I think Raven is gonna die, and her last thoughts are going to be of her daughter. Can there be two powers of a maiden? No. That's what they're trying to do with Cinder. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do with Cinder, but they have to do it artificially. And they would have to... That's why Cinder is with Salem. And that's why Salem's trying to do it, because the only way that can happen is to have Salem to be there in case you explode. Well, I mean, every time Cinder tried to get the second maiden's power, it went horrible. But like... That's because of plot. Yeah. But she could... Technically, theoretically... You can't have host all the maiden powers. Is it a good idea? Nope. Because, like, that old lady was just not right. In the winter? Mm hmm. She just wasn't right. She wasn't, she was sick. She was old. But, like, I feel like it was like her mental state, too. I mean, yeah, but she was old. What did that have to do with, like, the power stuff? No. Probably not. No, she was legitimately supposed to be very, very old. I think they said like 90 something yeah she was dying she was dying just of old age that's why they only had winter come in and out but the, there's a so the whole thing about the maiden's powers passes on to the last person they see that's no, little... no 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 it's not the last person they see it's the last, it's person... the last person they're thinking of yeah and i like that 
But it also goes into the thing where every the, Cinder's logic is flawed in the fact that she thinks that if she's the last person that they see, it's going to be the last person they think of. Well, no, that's her grim attachment thing that she's got. Mm-hmm. Is it can suck the soul out of people. But that was after she that thought came in. Because remember when she was trying to get the Flaw Maiden's power? She didn't have that arm thing. No, she had it. She... She did have it though. That was that bug thing she threw at it. You mean when she killed Pyrrha? I mean, yeah. No, no, she didn't have the arm. She didn't have the arm when she killed Pyrrha. No, she didn't have the arm when she killed Pyrrha. When she, when she, go, when she tried to kill, when she fur okay. When she was killing, the maiden that Pyrrha got her power, the powers from. Mm-hmm. She threw this bug thing at her. Mm. And that's her arm. That, yeah, I remember that. Oh, that makes sense. But I mean, if you were, if someone were to kill you, wouldn't they be the last person you'd be thinking of? No. It's like, who, who are this person? Who are you? It was mentioned in something that that had happened that the maidens all do have a mark, do have a, do have a target on their back mm-hmm. from people trying to get the maiden powers by being the last by being the person that kills them and so the last person they see the person that they're thinking of but it doesn't always it's not a 100 percent guarantee well no. i assume they know how power works so they like have a trigger a, a trigger so it's like okay i'm gonna die yeah i'm gonna think of this person real, real fast yeah but if you're in a like a really really heated battle then there's a chance that you won't be able to think of that other person because you're too busy thinking about not about who's in front of you. And it also depends on how fast you die. If yeah. you're in a drawn out fight, then yeah, I can see that like, whoever wins gets the power. If you're in a drawn out fight. If you're in a drawn out fight and you die quickly. Because they're thinking of you and how to counter your attacks. If you're bleeding out in a drawn out fight and you're laying there bleeding out and it's taking you a good two minutes to die, you're not going to be thinking about the person who just killed you. You're going to be thinking about a family member. Or they'll be thinking about whoever they're trying to give the power to deliberately. Yeah. I mean, if they're decent maidens. And, if, but. and for the most part, they have been de- decent yeah. maidens. Can a maiden only be a girl? No. Uh, they've always been a girl. They've always been a girl. I think it's that they have to identify as female. I think is what the with the way that they've decided that that's gonna work. Like, why hasn't he tried to get the powers for himself? Who? Mm-hmm. Ironwood. No, no, yeah, Ironwood. Ironwood. He is. That's why he's trying to give it to Winter. No, no, like in him. Because like, he doesn't he want he it. He doesn't want him, and he's a male. He doesn't necessarily want to be called a maiden. <laughs> but he was trying to give it to Winter. Mm-hmm. And he can control Winter. He made her the ultimate soldier. That's just sad. It is sad. Well, Winter has daddy issues, so... He was easily manipulated. She just wanted a father figure that would respect her. And she got one. I wonder if they're better than him. I'm worried about him. Does he got powers? No. Yeah. I mean, yes, he does because everyone does. But he's—they're not as powerful. He's not. He's he has not been able to activate his semblance or his aura before. He has it. He just doesn't know how to use it. Kind of like or Jean. even what it is. Well, he's he's, a lady. well, he will know what it is. It's probably going to be their whole family related one. Mm-hmm. They might throw a monkey wrench in it and may give him a different one, but that'd be a whole other story. Because, like, just like John, he's a late bloomer. Yeah. And usually the late bloomers are the most powerful. Again, look at John. His. He never really officially stated what his power was, though. John? Yeah. Yeah, I did. He's able to put some of his semblance in someone else. He's a healer. He's a healer. Oh, yeah. He's a healer, basically, but what he can do is he can regenerate aura, basically. Mm hmm. Yeah, which means it, which means that technically he could make an army of pennies. He's able to put some of his aura into someone else's and not really have lost aura. Yeah. 
But didn't he do more than his aura, like part of his soul too? Yeah. Yeah. He has an unlimited amount of aura, which means he has the biggest soul in the world. Iron One doesn't know how to use that. Iron One doesn't know what to use. No one knows. See, that's the thing about John's powers. It can't really be. It can't really really be used for evil. The only way you have to have him willingly on your side, helping out. Yeah, he's a healer. You can't really use them to aid you unless they're on your side. You can't force a healer to heal. Yeah, because Penny is part of that good dude's siblings. Mm Mm-hmm. You played MMORPGs and with healers, right? Of course. Aren't they the ones you make sure to stay on your side? Because if a healer turns against you, it's a bad thing? If they stop doing their job, it's a bad thing. Exactly. They have to willingly do it. You cannot force a healer to heal. But the thing is, the healer is pretty much screwed, too, because they can't do no damage. Sure, they can heal themselves, but... Yeah, and John's not the fighter of the team. No, he's he not. He can defend himself okay, but he's never... He's not the fighter. In fact, he's starting to become the he- the leader because everyone else, their emotions are so heightened. His were heightened when Pyrrha died and then when he confronted Pyrrha's killer. Now he's kind of not necessarily deadened, but he's on the way to recovery. He's gotten it out of his system, which means he, him and Oscar are the most level-headed people in the team. Ren thinks he's level-headed, but really he's, he's just not. turned off his all his emotions and he's being an angsty teenager. He is numb. He's being an angsty teenager. He is the definition of that Linkin Park song, Numb. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good song. And it is also Ren. <laughs> he, is a, he is the embodiment of that song. Ren's character is complete, though. No, he's not. No. Well, I mean, he got revenge for that for all his family. Him and Nora are together, I mean... Him and Nora, Nora are, are going to break together. up. Yeah, they are. They're together, but he's turned off his emotions, which means... They're going to break up. Yeah. They're, I mean, look at, the, look at the clip that was in the beginning. They were on opposite sides, not facing each other, they're both sad. Because they're both going separate ways. You think there could be like a civil war between the group? I think it's going to be a short-lived one, but I think we are going towards that. But I don't think it's going to last long. I don't want a full, like, full, a full war between the group. Like, We've not. had this tension going on for course, several seasons, honestly. For like two and a half seasons. Honestly. And I think it's going to come to head really, really soon. I think But it, I also think that they're going to realize very quickly on what happened. Yeah. They need to get it out in the open. And they haven't. They've been too busy trying to work, focus on the world and pushing, pushing, pushing to get the artifacts and to get, get rid of Salem. They're finally being forced to work as a team cohesively, separately with their um, own I- ideologies and their own ways of how it should be a- reacting because the situation has become to a point where they really need to be creative as to how they're going to do it. For the first part, they were just, they had a set goal. Now they have to figure out what that goal is. How do we do this? They have to actually think about it and they have to sit down and think about it. And, and because they've now, they're now at that cooling point, tensions are going to rise and they're finally going to get it out in the open saying, I don't like how you run things. Yeah. I think they're going to fight. Of course they're going to fight. Yeah, they're going to fight. The thing is, friends fight. They just have to get over it eventually and make up. And the- yeah. But I think they're going to realize very, very, but I think they're going to realize very early on because Oscar already said it. This is what she wants is to make us turn against each other. So I think once they realize that they're turning against each other, they're going to stop. But I don't think they've realized quite yet that they have started to turn against each other. Yeah. Um, Salem's attacking. Atlas. Atlas, Atlas, Atlas. Salem is attacking Atlas right now, right? Mm-hmm. Or she's like she's there. She's there. She's not in power yet. Okay, so I'm like they see her. They know she's there. She's she's like I'm. I've arrived. It's the fact that she just needs to go in and take over it. That's what we're waiting on, and that's what this season is doing. And I have a feeling this next episode she's gonna have a plot to kidnap Oscar. So that he can tell her how to work the relic. 
Does she know Austin's in Oscar? She knows that he's somewhere. I feel like if she met Oscar, she'll immediately know. Yes. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Especially considering Ozpin is still there. Yeah. No, she would know. They talked about that. That they don't. That they talked about that when they were talking about their backstory. That the moment they saw each other, they recognized each other. Yeah. Let's just remember that this is just a bat. That this entire that the entire world falling apart is just a custody battle between. Yep. It's a bad divorce and a custody battle. Yep. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Really bad. Really the worst divorce. divorce in history. Uh, a really bad divorce. It's a... Uh, and a custody battle over the maidens. The children. Yep. Because their children, even though Salem accidentally killed them, are being reincarnated over and over and over again, but they don't know that they're, that it's happening. So, because in, like, Origin of the Maidens, they said there was a wizard who, give them, who gave the maidens their power. Mm-hmm. That was Ospin. Really? Yeah, the, yeah, it was hinted at being Ozpin, but the actual origin story is that he was the father. There's a difference between a myth and the actual truth. Was that was Ozpin? That was Ozpin, yeah. Oh, they used the myth to explain the maiden's power, but no one actually knew the story, and now they do. No. no, it was a single episode, 18 minutes, and we need to f- tell everybody where everybody was. Yeah, this was just an introduction. We have 13 episodes left to get to the meat of the stuff. We'll see how long those episodes are. I need an hour-long season finale. That's what I need. I'm only for an hour-long premiere. No, they never do that. I mean, they never do an hour-long finale. Yeah, they do. When? Not really, but some people do. But an hour-long premiere is common, too. No. No, it's not. They had hour-long premieres. Yeah. Shakira sure was forty-five minutes, but commercials. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.